video we're going to learn how to use the air magnet survey professional edition the first thing that we're going to do is set up a project in air magnet to get ready to start doing an accurate active wireless survey so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the project wizard and create a new project now i'm going to specify a project name right here and if you look down below at the project directory it is ready to accept the backslash there is, is in place and it's ready to accept whatever project name I give. So I'm at the Hampton Inn and Suites. So it put the name right there in the project directory. I'm going to set that as the default directory and I'm going to leave this as a non GPS project because it's an indoor project and we're surveying with an access point and not a GPS satellite. I'm going to click next here and we have to import a floor plan. So Air Magnet accepts several different styles of drawings. I'm going to go out and just grab a JPEG image of one of my default floor plans to teach by. So I'm going to import that floor plan and we can change unit of measures. I'm going to leave it at feet for now. If you look here we have the floor plan dimensions. They're set at zero and zero. I'm going to leave that there because I'm going to show you how to calibrate the drawing so that you have accurate measurements on your drawing if in fact your floor plan is not an accurate floor plan from the get-go. Now on this page it's all about your environment. As you click down these pre-configured options here you notice the signal propagation assessment number changes. This is our magnets algorithm that propagates and a uh, signal 150 feet to the left of you, 150 feet to the right of you. That's an outdoor uh, setting there. If I go up to restricted closed office, it drops that down to 10 feet. I like to use the 10 feet because I like to survey more with real data and less with the algorithm. I could change that if I wanted to down to 5, but that would make me have to do a lot more walking. Remember the math there, you have to you're propagating 10 feet on each side of you. So if you cut it down to 5 feet, that means twice the amount of walking through the same room in order to get signal test uh, coverage all over the same floor plan. The next thing we're going to look at here is the AP default power. I'm going to be doing a data survey at a hotel. So I'm going to turn this down to 25 milliwatts and we're going to survey with that. I'm going to hit next and now I have a descriptive text. This is here for you, the engineer, to say, I'm doing a, you know, just make notes. Survey for uh, Hilton properties. Uh, you can say, survey by whoever is doing the survey. Uh, you can put in the air magnet type, air magnet version 8.8. .8. You can put in your access point type if you, you know. AP Cisco 3702 I. Of course it's probably not a 3702 I that I'm surveying with, but you can give yourself a lot of notes here in this descriptive text so that when you get ready to go back and do your project paperwork and you've got some notes there that you can use if needed. I'm going to click finish and you'll notice it says the drawing needs to be calibrated. Now you remember the first screen we looked at that said length zero width zero. I want to calibrate so I'm going to click yes and it's going to say do you want to recalibrate site dimensions after measuring? Yes I do. Now look how my cursor changes to a measuring tool. I'm going to go up here and click the plus arrow to zoom in because in all office complexes, houses, and things like that, the standard door size is three feet. So I'm going to go to a door in the building and use this push pin right at one edge of the door, click, and then come over to the other side of the door and click again. Now, it says that the actual distance is 2.676 feet. Now we know that the door frame is three feet, so I'm going to do a three dot over there. Now look at the width and length when I click recalibrate. 
Now the site drawing has recalibrated and when I click OK you will see this drawing change sizes. Now that the drawing has recalibrated we have correct dimensions so that the signal propagation screen that we looked at earlier the signal propagation will know as I'm walking through here taking signals that it's 10 feet from here to here and it will propagate signal correctly across the drawing. Now the next thing I'm going to go up and do before we start our survey is I'm going to hit the configuration tab and make sure that my 802.11 tab and my profile tab have the correct settings. Now I'm going to be surveying the H Honors SSID, the H Honors wireless network. So if that was not in there already, you just click new and type it in. Then you come over to the profile and create a new profile and put in your SSID name again. After you get done with that, you can actually come over to settings. This is something I like to do is make sure auto logging is on. What this does is it takes auto data points as you walk every, I'll have it every two seconds. You can turn a beep on, that's really annoying in my opinion, so I don't do that. And you want to make sure that auto sampling is on through the path so that you will auto logging, you'll, you'll be auto logging every two seconds, a data sample will be taken in auto sampling. Now after you have those three settings the way that you want, you can also go to scan and determine which channels you want to survey for. If you're surveying 2.4, you have that channel list. If you're surveying 5 gig, you have all those channels that you can scan for. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And now our drawing is ready to begin our survey. We can go over here and we can survey for an SSID. We can survey for an access point. The way I like to do this is an active survey for an actual AP. So you can do an active or a passive. I like to do an active. I'm searching for a specific access point. And of course you notice this is a big hotel. There's plenty of them here. I'm going to pick one of the H honors, the N access points. Now, before you start your survey, you click the green button and it's going to ask if you want to specify where that access point's location is before you start surveying. You're going to click yes and it gives you your mouse with a finger pointing at an AP. You can left click and hold it down and move that AP around. Now, right in the middle of my drawing here, there's a conference table there. If there really was an access point that I wanted to survey over that conference table, I could put that AP down there and I could start surveying based on where that access point really was. If it was over here next to this wall, I can walk out in the hallway or wherever I need to look and find the location of this access point and move it on the drawing to where I need it to be so that when I start recording data as I walk the floor, I will have accurate data on that access point, real live RF coverage data on that access point. So now we have our drawing surveyed, we're ready to start or have our drawing calibrated, our project set up, and we're ready to start our survey.